It's in Bonza. However, I need one. So what have we got? Uh, well, uh, how long do you want the list to be? <laughs> I'll go for surface ones, shall I? Um, I've got Ellis <laughs> Danlos syndrome, type three. Uh, bugger to spell, especially as I'm dyslexic. I fucking love that. All my all my conditions are hard to spell though, um, which is a um, it's a lack of production of collagen basically, um, which means there's a couple of symptoms, but it basically means that I'm hypermobile. So that just means I'm incredibly you're floppy. Yes, I'm incredibly floppy slash stretchy, um, but it also means that I don't have enough collagen in my joints, so I get a lot of joint problems. And unfortunately, a lot of people with hypermobility get um, we get flare ups, which means that we can get bad bad months sometimes years hopefully not years this time though and that's why and that's why you're in uh, sisyphus yeah that's why i am in my beautiful sisyphus named sisyphus because i would like to think that it has the um motivation and the enthusiasm just been to the health assessment center where we tried to get into the health assessment center and the uh, only one door would open um, the second door was jammed shut. Um, nobody really helped from the health assessment centre. One guy did came, come out and have a go, but uh, he was going to go and open another door, but never bothered. So we were then left outside the job centre for the best part of 15 minutes, waiting for somebody <coughs> to notice. Um, when they eventually figured out what was going on, uh, they did come to help and let us in and the guys from the job centre actually went and opened the door that was broken in the health assessment centre. He says you can't fix something with a hammer. Yeah. Now these guys um, went and got their hammer, interrupted a meeting to go and get the hammer so that they could open the door. Um, but the fact that when we had contacted them, um, or they'd contacted us... Lawrence, Lawrence from... Uh the job centre or the health, affairs, health assessment centre rang me up um, yesterday to confirm that I was going to attend and when I was on the phone to him I actually inquired about whether it was accessible or not and my concerns around the accessibility as well as asking him if it was all accessible and I got reassured it all was because I told him about my wheelchair and all the, all the important things, well the important things that I thought about anyway. Um, and yeah. Turns out they don't actually make very much of a difference. No, so nobody came in. So we've been invited to uh, come to a health assessment. My appointment was at 9 o'clock. We had to get up at 5.30 because apparently I didn't realise this until Nick pointed it out. Thanks, Nick. It takes me like three hours to get ready in the morning. Willing. Yeah, so we were up at <laughs> half, half five in the morning. Uh, to make it here, we were there five minutes early. Um, yeah, my appointment was at 9 o'clock. Yeah, we got there at five to five to nine, so we have plenty of time to get in and make the make the thing. In theory. Yeah, because of course, if you miss a meeting, what happens? I get sanctioned and my money gets taken away. Yeah. So you end up with no money. So the situation is at the moment then. Barely, barely getting by as it is. So yeah, sanctioning is the worst thing that could possibly happen mm -hmm. at the moment. It means no food and possibly no house or paying my rent. Which is and then well, when we did get in, and. Uh, we got there. We've since been told that the person that we're meant to be seeing has gone sick. So can we please go away and come back when they ring us? In fact, they didn't even offer to ring us to start off with. They said, come back in 45 minutes and well, then you can they wait. Did, they just said, come back. We asked what time because they, he actually genuinely just said, go for, go, go for a coffee or something and come back a bit later. So you asked what time because that's kind of important. And they said 45 minutes. Um, I actually asked if they could give me a call when they're ready for me to come back because I'm slightly worried that they're not going to, um, I, I would miss a call from them. And um, and then, I'm sorry, I'm just making sure my phone's on ringer so they can call. But I'm um, slightly worried if I miss a call from them, then I'd miss the appointment. And if I miss the appointment, then I'm buggered. So luckily I have asked them to call me back because otherwise I don't think they would have. It's a bit of a shoddy system really, I think. So, so now we're... Uh... We, we've gone to, uh, we went to Greg's to grab something to eat and have to try and calm and down, have tea and biscuits. I was a bit upset and I ended up having a bit of a panic attack and a cry because apparently I'm cool like that. <laughs> so uh, you can see why we won't fit through a normal doorway, not with uh, not with this chair, as you can see. I've got, it's... I've got, I've got a bigger girth than I used to have these days. <coughs> and my, my arse is a lot bigger. <laughs> so now we're going to sit and wait in the...